Japan is set to hold its upper house election on Sunday. Now, polls show that Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's ruling coalition is likely to hold a majority in the house if following the election. Min su so has the details. This Sunday will be a big day for Japan as it's set to elect members for its upper house known as the House of Councillors. A total of 125 seats will be up for grabs. That's half of the 248 seats in the chamber and one to fill a vacancy in the other half. Polls conducted this week by major Japanese media outlets show that the ruling bloc will easily win a majority, claiming at least 63 seats in the upper house. That's, of course, more than half of the 125 being contested. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who serves as the head of the Liberal Democratic Party, is aiming for a convincing win in Sunday's election so that he can push through his policies. If the Liberal Democratic Party, led by Prime Minister Kishida, overwhelmingly wins the election, Kishida will be able to significantly increase his influence within the party, and that will allow him to run the government stably as no national elections are due for the next three years. The ruling bloc currently has a total of 70 seats that are not up for re-election. So Kishida's ruling bloc only needs to win 55 seats to maintain a simple majority in the chamber. The upcoming election will be a litmus test for Kishida as it comes at a time when Tokyo faces several economic and diplomatic challenges. On the economic front, the cost of living is surging with higher fuel prices amid the war in Ukraine. While on the diplomatic front, a rising China and the nuclear threat from North Korea remain troubling. Attention is also drawn to future relations between South Korea and Japan, which have been frosty in recent years. It seems difficult to expect Japan to suddenly change its stance on South Korea or to expect it to suddenly make great efforts to improve relations once the upper house elections are over. It will be more of a gradual process, and I think high-level talks between South Korea and Japan will definitely be discussed in that process. Min Suk-kyun, Arirang News.